I'm here. Uh, Turns out I'm not getting a coil. Uh, had a little change of plans. I'm going over to uh, Pittsburgh, Indiana, and I'm. Let me get my. Uh, I'm gonna get some bar. I'm getting six bundles of 35 foot bar, no tarp, and I'm gonna take it up to Oak Creek, Wisconsin. So. That's where I'm going there. I gotta get my stuff on and get my trailer set up. I'm in line here, about fourth in line or so, loading outside versus inside. Inside looked very crowded. So I'm hoping this goes pretty quick. Great truck, second but, uh, in line to here. I gotta go take care of it. So surprisingly, the reason that my fleet manager oh, sent me a message to call him. Uh, when I was unloading back there. So he said, I want to run this by you. He said, I got this load that I was going to put on another guy, but there's no way he can make it. Even though it doesn't deliver till 2.30 in the afternoon tomorrow. Um, and he said, you could take it and you're close to home. You could go home tonight and then get up in the morning and drive up there. I can get up and leave at a reasonable, really reasonable hour tomorrow morning and deliver it no problem but he said it pays really good because I'm on percentage in this whole account so I thought hmm I'm good for that going home watch a little TV hang out so uh, that's what I'm doing if I can get out of here <laughs> I might make some coffee I did sleep really good last night in the truck now if you look up forward there way in the distance you can see a yellow truck that there he's next in line let's see if I can't get zoom out my I don't have a tremendous amount of zoom here but way up over here is where they're loading it's not too far away but they you pull up to a uh, what's called a flatbed dock where you pull up next to a dock high platform and they drive the forklift on it and load your truck. I'm reading kind of a good book. This is a Kindle Paperwhite, which is pretty good. But the one I'm reading right now is by Nelson DeMille, D-E-M-I-L-L-E. -E. And it's his first book that I've read of his. It's called Plum Island. And Spot a detective, and he's he's got a really unusual way of writing. So yeah, I'm getting used to it, though. I'm kind of liking it, and I'm about halfway through it, and uh, it's like it, nothing's really happened yet, but you know stuff is gonna really happen. You know, I got her all done. This trailer is really funky. It's pockets. I don't know if I did it the best way. Sure. But I came down and instead of going up in a, a pocket, I came up and there's there was nowhere to go here. So maybe somebody knows a better way with that. And I'm open to suggestions. Uh, we don't get this chose very often. Standard Maverick procedure, belly wrap. And I put five chains on it. It's 35 feet long. There. I'll climb up on top in the front here. Well, the guy that was here a minute ago was using chains, and we had a conversation about how no one uses them anymore. Yeah, it's weird. I never use straps. I'm like, this is, yeah. It's, straps are good. Yeah. Well, especially how you're doing it. You're doing a belly wrap with a chain. Yeah. And I do both ends stuck yeah. together. Then, then I put my chains on top of the other one. I have to snuggle. Yeah. Because that's the only way that I feel safe. Yeah. See, there's a guy that knows what he's saying. <laughs> I like that. So we, we were discussing, I don't know if you could hear him, but so many drivers out here. That's why they're, they're getting a lot and they're gone. Like, over that way. Straps. Well, he's got a couple chains on it. I shouldn't... There you go. There's a strap only load going out of there. No belly wrap, just straps. See how I, 
Um, I had to put the blocks in for him as he went. And we took great lengths to make sure they were snugged up good. And then I have four over center binders and uh, one ratchet binder. I put the ratchet binder in front. I mean, I feel the ratchet binder is more secure and I can get up and adjust it faster and easier and uh, if I needed to. Generally when you do these loads, you don't have to touch them. They wanted to double stack it. I said, no, let's try to do it one layer. And they did. <laughs> okay, I gotta get my paperwork, scale out, put in my calls, and then uh, I was only, I was waiting here about an hour and a half total by the time I got through, but part of that was I had the wrong load number and I had to call in, go get back in line, get, call in, get the right one. And then it got straightened out and then I came back across. But I waited about an hour and 40 minutes. And then I just spent a half hour securing. And then I spent 10 minutes talking to you. <laughs> but I want to go home. I've got four hours to get home. <laughs> and it's not very far. But this is kind of like, when you climb around on a load like that, this is the kind of dirty you get, which, you know, but, you know, you wear gloves. I mean, a lot of guys have trouble with that, but it's kind of hard to avoid because that steel bar sitting outside, it's got rust on it. I mean, you just touch it and it comes off on you. So, but what I wanted to show you was my weight ticket. Once you're over 48,000 pounds of payload, that's pretty heavy. So what I did was I, uh, it's a love. It's right next to the place. I thought I'm going to top up with fuel. I'm going to weigh this thing because I was worried about my drives, my drives and my steers. So you can see here are my this is my steer, and it is 10,560. So I'm good there. I can go up to 12,000. My drives, 34,180. I'm over by 180 pounds. That's no biggie. Uh, we carry an EPU and there's an allowance for that of like, I don't know, 300 pounds or something. So, wasn't too worried about it. My trailer, 33. And since I have a spread axle, I can take up to 40, 20 per axle. So that's okay. My gross is 78,020. I looked at my fifth wheel and I decided that I could transfer some of that 34,180 forward by simply moving my fifth wheel forward. And I noticed that I had it set pretty far back. When we have the boats, we have it all the way back. But I had moved it forward, but you know, I just moved it forward. You know, I didn't really look close or just put it by the middle. So what I did was I just monkeyed with it and I flipped this little switch right here. And then I, uh, see I have three switches there. I have my inner axle differential, my fifth wheel slider, and then this is my uh, air suspension, which lowers my, my drive axle suspension down so I can get under a low trailer. That's by going forward three or four holes, I've transferred, I bet my stairs are now closer to 11,000 and my drives are below 34. Maverick wants us to weigh our truck when we think it's necessary. They pay for it. It's, it's a pain because you got to go and then if I was way overweight I'd have to go back there and they would have to shift the load and they would put you to the front of the line. They would take care of it but still there's that's probably it's probably an hour because you got to unsecure basically.